Welcome back, everybody. We have Christy here with us again, one of our interior designers, and we're going to talk about home building. We have multiple custom homes in work, and one of the things, one of the hurdles that we're going through, and you may be going through it as well, is the design process. So during, during the home build process, there are different needs when it comes to materials and allowances, and Building a custom home, unlike when you do a spec home where I can let you kind of just pick out everything, give you a budget, and you just run with it. Well, you're adding in a, another element. You have the client and the client's needs and versus the client's wants, right? Sometimes they're not able to get what they want due to budget. Or what we're working with now is some of the stuff, it may be like you... Literally, as I was walking in, you were talking about a vanity. Mm -hmm. And what did you say about the vanity? Uh, we got to get it now. Inventory is low. Inventory is low. And so there's opportunities when uh, that the client could possibly miss out because mm -hmm. as the builder during the flow of the project, the money isn't always readily available because we are getting money as we go. We're on a draw system. Right. Um, and typically what happens with our type of contract, we've got a fixed fee contract and then it with allowances. So basically what we do is we give them a fixed amount for construction and then we uh, give them the allowance items, maybe 30, 40 items that they get to choose and uh, the cost of that offsets. However, if you're dealing with a bank, um, you have to get a certain percent of construction mm -hmm. done, and then they issue money for a draw. Right. So one of the bigger battles is balancing the draws mm -hmm. with the need and timeliness right. for materials. It's very tricky, for sure. I always say the construction, not the ugly money is up front, <laughs> but the pretty money doesn't come until later. Right. So the, so, so the cosmetic features, the yeah. allowances, yeah. The, the tile, the vanities, mm -hmm. and, and things like that. And sometimes uh, some banks will give us a deposit for materials, especially if they know it's long lead times. For instance, we had the cabinets. The cabinets mm -hmm. were $36,000, so mm -hmm. they gave us 18000 up front. Gotcha. Yep. And then yep. once they're installed, they'll give us the other half of mm -hmm. that. So it's the same thing with most cosmetic allowances, but usually as a builder, a uh, custom home builder, you're going to be out of pocket Uh on allowances and things like that especially like in this situation where it's low inventory you have to make a decision we mm -hmm. the client really wants it it's not always going to come down to well let's wait for the bank and let's call them for an right. inspection you know especially. And sometimes they just end up buying it themselves and we've had that and then we happen. reimburse right and sometimes it's good and then sometimes it can get carried away mm -hmm. because all of a sudden they go out and just start picking things at random mm -hmm. and during the course yeah. of the build, it, it adds up. It starts to complicate the allowance process, mm -hmm. receipts, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Right. So I guess what we could do here is talk about how to keep that straight. So for you, it's kind of funny because you have a handwritten sheet that you track everything. And I call it your handwritten Excel I spreadsheet. I do have one of those. Yeah. 